Hey guys, so this video is going to be in English just because I think it's a little bit too hard to one, be reading subtitles whilst you're watching also what's going on on the screen. If you haven't already watched episode three, please do so. It is a video that I made breaking down how I add nouns, verbs, adjectives, all specific to Serbian. As a result, this video is just going to be more of the technical part of it where uh, I show you how to add cards and add audio and um, video, etc, etc. And it's broken into five parts, which you can see down below. So you can skip to whichever part you need the most. I'm going to be going through today plugins, how to install plugins, how to add words into Anki in one go, um, how to add pictures and how to add audio automatically. So let's go. All right, so let's start with plugins. So the two plugins that I do use in Anki are Awesome TTS, which adds speech automatically to my flashcards, which I'll show you in a bit, and also batch download pictures from Google Images. So how we do this, how do we install a plugin is we go to tools, add-ons, get add-ons. Now you're going to be asked for a code. On all of these app pages, you should be able to find a little code. You just need this code to be able to install brand new plugins. So good, so now I should have Pokemon um, once I restart Anki. So that's how you're going to download and install both batch download pictures from Google Images and awesome TT, um, TTS or even more plugins if yeah, go for your life. Um, how to add um, words to Anki in one go. So uh, what I do is I actually use, if I go back to my decks, I actually use this import file option. And the file that I import is actually a file from either Excel or um, LibreOffice. I use LibreOffice because it's installed on both my desktop and it's free. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a brand new calc spreadsheet. What happens is usually every class that I have with Emma, she gives me a list of words that I either did not know how to use during class or I, uh, I couldn't find the word, uh, for example. So she puts them in a list here for me. Uh, but what I've done is I've made us our own list today because I have a noun, a verb and an example of the verb used in context, adjective and a phrase. So column A is the front of your cue card and column B is the back of your cue card. Um, so what I usually do is I just go through the sheet and I copy and paste these in. After I've written um, examples of course and filled everything in so for example maybe Hrkati didn't have the first person singular and third person plural I would go in and add that using the um, this site which I showed you a bit before Ako morate da nađete konjugacije za glagole možete da koristite ovaj website um, and also I would add a sentence um, same goes for the um, adjectives so the first time I put in a verb, it is in infinitive, that and that. And then here goes our reader and our phrase. And our phrase goes in twice, once um, with just the phrase itself and once in context. So um, from here what I do is I copy and paste these and put them just into Google Translate copy, paste. This is all fine. Just make sure that the formatting is correct. The reason why I do this is because Anki won't actually let you put install this sheet if you don't have anything in column A. So I just translate it in Google Translate just to have something in column A and also to make it easier to install pictures later on just in case you forget what these mean. I'm going to save it. So save as now this is really important you need to save this as a text csv and what's going to happen is it's going to come up with this pop-up use t t whatever it said then but please make sure that you've selected unicode utf-8 press ok and that should be now on our desktop so when we go into anki i'm going to import my file um, go into open up the file that i just made See here it says field 1 mapped to the front of the card, field 2 is mapped to the back of the card. I keep my cards super simple. Some people have 
like a million different things like they separate the audio they separate the pictures they separate everything I'm really lazy and so I just have two sites <laughs> so we're going to import that into Anki now six notes added no problems great from there I go into browse and I filter the cards that I added today so these are the six cards that we added today now added into Anki but they're looking a little bit plain so what we're going to do now is bulk add pictures and bulk add audio let's go um, and control a that and add Google Images this is batch download pictures from Google Images what it does is it chooses either the front or the back and it takes that text and searches for it in Google Images and then it automatically gives you the first Google image uh, back from the search so in this case it's going to give me back the first three Google images and I like to have that flexibility because I always go through my cards again just to choose the best picture I usually choose the back which is the Serbian side we're going to put the picture on the front card and we're going to append so we don't want to um, get rid of the English so we're just going to append it to that and uh, press start now this process actually doesn't take too long surprisingly just make sure you have a steady internet connection and then look we're done so now if we go back through these we should have all of these pictures great so many hamsters I just realized that I had a mistake wait sorry about that what's important about these examples is skupljati should be the only unfamiliar word in that sentence everything else should be part of your active vocabulary hence why I didn't notice this mistake oh that's in Vietnamese wow okay so you can see here that because I've put um, three different forms of snoring in, in English it's I am snoring they are snoring so we're gonna get rid of that so what you're going to do from here is just go through your cards and um, clean them up a bit. It's really important to actually go through these notes yourself and make them yourself because these images are very unique to you um, and how you envision, like how your brain works. Um, so I get asked quite a bit, can you send me all your Anki cards? There are a lot of Anki cards that just make zero sense to anyone but me. So. Um, I would recommend you do these yourself and uh, just enjoy it in the process. I don't know, listen to your, some, some music whilst you're doing this. Alright, so I just finished all these words. What I'm going to do now is add audio. So I'm going to control A everything once again. And this time go to awesome TTS now if you've just installed these plugins you're gonna have to close Anki and reopen it and then it should be there automatically so we're going to either control T or add audio to selected so we're going to use Google Translate obviously we want Serbian 1.3 because I find that the voice at 1 is too slow but you can test that out for yourself um, append uh, the source field we're going to be reading out what's in the source field and we're going to be adding the audio to the destination field so back and back generate this process takes a little bit longer maybe eat make breakfast have a coffee come back when it's done great and we are done so what you're going to see now is this audio file added to the bottom of your notes this is how it's going to look in your notes so yeah uh, from here you can close that you can sync it up to the cloud you can also download Anki on your phone it's absolutely free and that's it if you have any questions I will do my best to get back to them in the comments so yeah uh, and that's it so I hope that that video was useful and uh, I will see you in a few days for episode 4